if you could cut the Empire State Building up into pieces, you could put it inside this assembly building three and three quarter times. Once again, it is the largest in the world in volume, comprising of 129,482,000 cubic feet of space inside the large walls. Oh, there's a tank in here, too. Oh, God, look at this. Cool! That's a space shuttle or solar fuel tank you see over here to our left. And the uh, tank normally holds uh, 525,000 gallons of super coal liquid hydrogen and oxygen. This is a bit, yeah. Those cones over there to the right. And over here in the high base, like to our right, high base one and three, are where we have Atlantis and Discovery. I don't know what we'll be able to see from here, but uh, those bays are coming up here on our right. Stacked on this platform right to our right here. And that's high bay three, that'll be Discovery. And Atlantis is up ahead in uh, high bay number one. But uh, condensation on these steel beams. And the condensation, condensation would drip down, similar to rain. So people would say that it rained inside the vehicle assembly building. Well, then people would come out and say, oh, there was thunder and lightning in the VAB, and that's not true. It was simply the condensation forming on those beams before we put the air handlers in here. But the left, we can store an orbiter inside that bay uh, on its landing gear. So we could conceivably have the whole fleet in here if, uh, if, uh, if it was necessary to do that. And usually during a... Um, when we batten down for hurricane operations, all of our transport vehicles uh, that transport the orbiter from the OPF and the astronaut transfer vehicle and all the rest of that stuff, that's all brought here into the vehicle assembly building, and this is where all that hardware stays during a hurricane uh, uh, situation. Yeah, I'm so glad that, you know, they are crazy because 